CapCut is a video editing software that's become insanely popular because it's easy to use, packed with effects, and perfect for beginners. Hi guys, Justin here, editor for Premiere Pro for the last 10 years. I'm going to show you five reasons why Premiere Pro is still a must-have for serious video editors. Okay, reason number one, advanced color grading with Lumetri. So CapCut has its basic filters and adjustments, but Premiere Pro, you get the full control with the Mintre color panel. You can fine tune exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, even the color wheels can really dial in a cinematic look. Plus you get LUTs or lookup tables to instantly apply professional color grading styles to your footage. And here's a side by side, before, after, that looks amazing. Next up has to be the multicam editing, guys. If you film weddings or events and don't have multicam editing, it's gonna be a rough time and CapCut unfortunately does not have this feature and this feature alone in Premiere Pro is worth the cost. This makes it super easy to sync up cameras and switch angles in real time without manually cutting. In fact, you can play down the sequence and watch the cameras play at the same time to see the best angle. It's really a cool feature. One awesome feature with multicam editing is you can actually live camera cut on your timeline. First thing you have to do is switch your keyboard shortcut to the camera. Mine is one, two, three, and four for my four cameras. And then just play back your multicam file and cut live. Really awesome. Next up is pro audio editing and mixing. So in CapCut, you get the pretty simple audio tools. You can adjust volume, add some effects, but that's about it. In Premiere Pro, you get the essential sound panel. And if you watch my audio tips video, you know there's a lot of cool stuff in here. You can do advanced EQ, reverb, denoise, ducking, and you know, really dial in that pro level sound. In CapCut, it's really, really minimal stuff here. The audio editing features in Premiere Pro are game changers if you really want your videos to sound and look awesome. Okay, here's a big one. CapCut limits how many video and audio layers you can use. If you're making simple edits, that might be fine, but if you're working with multiple layers, with B-roll, you know, sound effects, music, voiceovers, CapCut could definitely hold you back. In Premiere Pro, on the other hand, it gives you unlimited tracks for video and audio. It's a huge deal if you're editing professionally, especially if you're on a wedding film, documentary, even YouTube videos with complex sound design. Having in full control uh, layering makes a massive difference. Plus you can group, nest, organize layers in Premiere, making it way easier to handle big projects. The last reason why I think Premiere Pro is better than CapCut is it's the industry standard. It integrates Photoshop, After Effects, and Edition seamlessly. Most big brands, agencies, and film studios require proficiency in Premiere. So if you're serious about editing, definitely go with Premiere. Speaking from my own experience, most jobs that I was hired on, you needed to know Premiere. One last thing, guys, here's a bonus tip. Here's all the differences for, between CapCut and Premiere. One of the main ones I see on this list is the export settings. You get the basic ones on CapCut, and then in Premiere Pro, you get a wide range of formats and export settings. That's my video for today, guys. If you enjoyed this one, I think you'll really like this one over here. 